If you've been suffering with an overactive thyroid, I'm going to talk about five causes of that thyroid becoming hyperactive with hyperthyroidism. Okay, number one is blue light toxicity and EMFs. Now this is something that you wouldn't necessarily correlate the fact that holding your cell phone close to that thyroid gland is blasting that thyroid with those EMFs. And these are man-made EMFs. It's not what our body is meant to run on, which of course are natural EMFs from the magnetism of our earth and the connection with the sun. So this is something that is going to overstimulate the proper circadian biology of your systems. And this is one of the unforeseen causes of hyperthyroidism, probably that your doctor hasn't talked to you about. Okay, number two, another cause of that overactive thyroid is poor circadian biology. So poor circadian rhythms, not having regular sleep schedules and being all over the place in terms of the time that you wake up every morning and the time that you go to bed. This is really important to get that good sleep hygiene, getting into that good schedule, turning off that blue light, especially after the sun has set and making sure that you're not on your screens, you're not on your devices and blasting all of those frequencies at your thyroid gland, causing those mis matches in your circadian rhythms. Okay, number three on my list is leaky gut. So we know that that autoimmunity cause of Graves' disease, as an example of hyperthyroidism, can often be related back to what's happening in the gut. And when the gut becomes leaky, and with leaky gut syndrome, those tight junctions open up in the gut, and now the immune system will start to react to things that are getting through the gut that really shouldn't be. And then the body can start to attack itself with the autoimmunity attacking the thyroid gland. One of the culprits here that can cause that leaky gut is glyphosate. And I have other videos all about that. It's a herbicide that's widely used in modern agriculture. Certain foods are high in glyphosate. So you gotta learn more about that as well. Okay, number four, another cause of that hyperthyroid is fluoride toxicity. So fluoride we know is a halogen on the periodic table. In that group, those halogens will displace iodine and fluoride is known to do this. So whether that's in your toothpaste, maybe you drink tea, maybe you drink wine, that maybe you drink unfiltered water that could be high in that fluoride, that will offset the proper binding of iodine in your thyroid, which becomes really important in terms of normalizing and balancing that thyroid function. And number five, the last cause that we'll talk about today of hyperthyroidism, believe it or not, is your contact lenses. So yeah, if you are a contact lens wearer, did you know that the connection of natural natural full spectrum light from the sun coming into your eyes is helping to signal your thyroid gland, your leptin levels, your melatonin. And when you're covering your eyeballs with, and they're not now getting that oxygen, but also they're not getting that proper UV signal of that full spectrum light from the sun, you're also offsetting the proper messaging between your brain, your eyes, and your thyroid gland, causing more of that circadian disruption and could be a big factor in your hyperthyroidism. So I hope this is something new for you that you've learned. Please leave it in the comments below what you've learned from this video that has amazed you. And I can't wait to see and read your comments. Now I did mention that fluoride, how that's related to that hyperthyroid and hypothyroidism as well. I want you to learn how to detox fluoride in this video. I'll see you there.